Hey, I know why y'all here on this one. Listen, you didn't already seen that thumbnail. You didn't read that title. You know what? Today I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is to make. Look, this is just a Cajun chicken pasta. Hey, with that being said, we not finna over talk. We finna go right over these ingredients, right? So I'm gonna start over here on the end. Look, right here we got half and half. Look, this is gonna be key because we want it to be creamy, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and address this part right here. You'll see two boxes, right? We got rigatoni and over here we got penne. Wanna make sure I got them right, right? So it's up to you how you guys want, you know, whichever one you wanna use. And if you don't wanna know what rigatoni looks like, here it is right here. I've already, you know, pre-boiled them, got them al dente and have them sitting over here off to the side, right? So we got fire roasted. And look, if you look at this, this is the garlic version of it, right? We got diced onions, lemon, garlic, garnish that's just parsley and then i'm gonna go ahead and talk about this right here this will be what I, this is my go-to anytime i say cajun or creole i use creole kick this right here takes you back and puts you down there in that louisiana bayou area right there that's the real level up and then right here you got to have that protein right that'll be your chicken now if you look over here I'm gonna be using my wok. I know everybody talks about, you know, having a wok or whatever, and you start thinking of like Asian food. But listen, if you use your wok, it's deep, it's great for frying. If you got a lid for it, even better. But this is what I'll be using to cook. Okay, so look, first thing we're gonna do is, I got myself a bowl, because we're gonna go ahead and cube up our chicken, right? So, what you wanna do is you wanna cut it into about one inch strips, right? And then you just wanna make one inch cubes, you know? So don't forget, you know, when you cook the chicken, it's gonna go ahead and, you know, shrink up just a little bit. But this is it right here. This is all you need. Now we start putting that magic on it, right? This is that Creole kick, folks. So listen, I'm gonna go ahead and just put some here on like this. I gotta say this, I want you guys to back up because I can tell you from experience, you guys don't ever get a chance to see it. But what I do is, I usually start sneezing. And somebody told me you ain't seasoning unless you sneezing. All right? So look, this is what I look for. You know, on chicken, the flesh of it be a little bit on a white or pale side, right? So when you put the Creole kick or something like that that has, you know, good seasoning color to it, I can look at that and see how, you know, the coverage. The purpose and the objective is to get it all, you know, seasoned properly. That's good for right now. Now I'm finna bring the, the pepper and we'll just start adding some pepper to it also. I add infused olive oil, right? I just wanna put like a couple of tablespoons in there. But if you guys got regular olive oil, that works too. So we'll just get this hot. Once this gets hot, I'm gonna go ahead and just start browning my chicken. So look, what I'll do is I'll just start adding these in. And again, all we wanna do is we just wanna brown, right? So I kinda like just wanna separate them, make sure they're all flat, you know what I mean? Because we wanna get maximum coverage. Okay, so look, you guys come on here and take a look at this right here. I'm getting ready to start flipping these. You know what I mean? Look, that's what you want to see. You want to see it cook. You want to see it start to turn white. You know what I mean? Then we just flip them. I'm using a pair of tongs, obviously. But once I get them flipped, then I go ahead and go back to my, I'm going to go back to my wooden spoon. And then we're just going to move them around, you know, just to make sure they cooked all the way throughout. Okay, so look, I'm taking one of the thicker pieces of meat. I dropped this, you know, my pro, my meat thermometer in there. Excuse me, we want to see 165, right? You see that right there? So I'm gonna just take this out. I'm gonna remove it, the fire. And now we just put them over here. And that was one of the thicker pieces, you know? Next, we finna do our onion and garlic. Okay, so what I'm getting ready to do now is load up my garlic press, right? One, two, three. Let me go ahead and put this on here. Now, this is where I go ahead and put a smile on my face, folks. Folks, I just love mentioning it through here. Now, you always want to get yourself something so you can knock the, you know, your mince off, right? Your minced garlic. So I'm gonna just put it in there like that. And then we just move this around. I had removed it from the heat. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my heat back up. I'm gonna go ahead and add my onions. And if you guys take a look inside of here, look. If you're using any other kind of skillet, this just happens to be a non-stick wok, you know what I mean? But if you're using a cast iron skillet to make this, which you can, 
the onion and all of that will help get some of that fine off the bottom and that's your seasoning. You know, that's what makes most of these dishes like level up. You know what I mean? It's using good ingredients and it's getting all of the time that you put inside of it, making it work, right? So we want to get that fine. But look at this right here. You want to go ahead and introduce, you know, your fire roasted tomatoes, right? Now you're going to want to bring this back up to somewhat of a simmer. Okay, so you guys can see, look, it didn't come back up. I got it set for a simmer, right? You see that? Now, what you want to do is you want to add yourself some more Creole kick or your Creole seasoning. You know what I mean? Uh, this right here, just a little bit. You know what I mean? I'm going to say something that's equivalent to like a teaspoon. That'll do it. Now you just want to let it simmer for about five minutes. We're going to cook this in and we're going to make sure everything that's in this pot marries to each other. Okay, so you guys can come on in here. Listen, it's been five minutes. And I gotta tell you, when I tell you guys five minutes, that's exactly what I mean, right? So I'm gonna break this away over this way. You can see it's been simmering. Oh man, the aromatic that come off of that is insane. So we nice, hot, it should come back to a simmer right in front of you. Nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and introduce my half and half, right? So. Bring my heat up a little bit, because I want it to get back to a boil. You know what I mean? Then I'll adjust. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start putting some heat under here and get this to thicken up and, you know, so it's not so thin. And this right here is the start of getting it creamy. Okay, so you want to go ahead and cut your lemon in half, put it in here, and now we're just going to go ahead and squeeze it, right? I use just half of it. This right here makes it a little bit on the refreshing side, and it just helps. With I ain't going to say it helps with the thickening. It does something, but I just know the lemon is key. Hey, one more time. After you let it cook, right? I'm just on a medium heat. Look at how it thickened up. You like that right there? I did say this is going to be creamy, right? Hey, but well, check it out. Now. If I was going to add anything to it, you guys, I know you guys asked me that, probably like down in the comment section below, you'll say, hey, you know what? I would add shrimp. I would add the shrimp, lobster, whatever you want to do. And if it's the right time of the year, you got that crawfish too. Hey, tell me, is it crayfish or crawfish? Hey, with that being said, now we finna introduce, you know, our pasta, right? Look at this here. Mm -hmm. Hey, you can't be mad at me. You know I had to sample some of this chicken. You know what I mean? Just, hey, look, and I hit it with a little bit of this sauce too. Hey, that's fire, folks. Now you just want to go ahead and introduce your chicken. Listen, everybody been like trying to like just eat out of the pot, right? Or the wall. This right here is fire. You guys can see, you saw the money shots. I'm just gonna go ahead and put just a little bit more on there. It almost as if I didn't make enough. Everybody and their mama wanna get them some. So look, I'm just gonna go ahead and get me some to make sure I get enough. And then we finna eat. Need some more of this noodle. This is fire. Now look, if you notice, and if you've been following me, you know I try to do everything a little bit on a low sodium side. If you guys need to wake it up, you can, but I leave that up to each individual bowl, you know? Just add a little salt to it if you feel like it needs it. But that's it. Let me take me a picture and then we'll go from there. You know, this is the time I usually tell you guys this ain't fair, but this right here is fire, folks. Now look, I ain't ate a whole lot out of that. I've probably been eating a lot out of the actual walk. You know what I mean? Hey listen, if you guys are looking for something, you wanna be on that Creole slash Cajun, you wanna have that flavor. And listen, everybody loves pasta, right? So you can't go wrong. You got pasta, you got the Cajun, you know, Creole flavor, then you got the chicken in there. Hmm. 
I can't say enough about it, folks. You want to talk about something good and you want to know how good it is? I'm finna hurry up and wrap this video up. Now check this out. If you're new to my channel, let me just take the time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. I'm going to keep it simple, folks. I'm out. Peace.